Welcome to the African Utility Week studio. I'm Nicolette Pompa van Zeil, editor of ESI Africa. Today I am speaking with Jacob Machinjike, who is the newly elected president of the South African Institute of Electrical Engineers. Welcome, Jacob. Thank you very much, Nicolette. And uh, congratulations on uh, being uh, elected as the president of the SAIEE. Thank you very much, and it's an honor to be of service to the SAIEE and its members. I want to, to start um, our interview with looking at what advice uh, you would give to engineering professionals in today's challenging energy environment. Colleagues uh, in the engineering business, um, I'm talking about engineers, I'm talking about technologists, I'm talking about technicians, and all people involved with electrical work and the discipline that it is exciting times that we find ourselves in, in that uh, there are numerous challenges in our society, whether it's in the sphere of education or housing or health or you name it. I call upon you that uh, as members of SIE or as potential members working alongside with the Engineering Council of South Africa, working with our employers as well as working with society that we have got a call to action, and the call is to be able to respond to the challenges that we face. And I call on you, as engineers, that you will succeed on this one. So that you, you're asking for collaboration? Absolutely. And this means that um, you have to be members as uh, much as you should pull in and uh, your resources. And to those who are more experienced, mm -hmm. you need to plow back into society as we help the youngsters from universities, from technicons and colleges, that they must grow their careers to make South Africa a great country once again. So this brings me to the question around uh, students, uh, whether it is uh, school uh, level or university level, uh, when they are deciding on a career path, and uh, maybe having uh, a look back at when you were deciding on a career path, what advice do you have for them? As students, in your various institutions, um, get together. We've got uh, student chapters where you tend to be guided in terms of the professionalization of your careers. We as SAIEE, we have got coaches and mentors who are prepared to guide you throughout your careers as well as give you guidance on how to become fully engaged in society and in the companies that you work. We are there and here to guide you in terms of your training, your development, and your career pathing to make sure that uh, you are the great ones for tomorrow because you too need to do something similar for those ones who will be students when you are up and going in industry. So having a look at uh, South Africa um, and not just the, the, the energy sector, uh, you stated that uh, South Africa has many challenges but this then is also an opportunity. So can you expand on that? What opportunities are you really thinking about? Engineers in general, in the engineering profession, is full of people who are challenge solvers. We are great problem solvers. So provided like the parameters are well defined, whether it's in the political sphere, whether it's in the communities that we live in or whether it's in industry, private sector, state-owned enterprises. Engineers come up with solutions and they enjoy doing that. Engineers are also good at coming up with options for decision makers to take into consideration. But engineering as a profession, it requires clearly provided guidelines within which to, to operate. And there we can provide the solutions required. So this is definitely an opportunity for the SAIEE uh, to look at those challenges and present potential solutions. So that brings me to the question around where do you see the energy sector in South Africa in 2018? Thank you very much for that question. As SAIEE, we are a learned society and we provide the opportunity of even facilitating throughout the country and in Southern Africa as well, bringing to bear together varying parties with different ideas, we can facilitate that um, there be dialogue and a conversation that leads to us to have a united view 
of the collective position that we need to take as a country and as a region. Let me give you an example. 2018 is around the corner. Uh, we are in 2017. So what is required is that as we continue to give inputs into the integrated resource plan, that um, sooner rather than later, we have government in terms of the Department of Energy releasing the integrated resource plan so that it becomes government policy and direction around which as engineers in all walks of life, we can put our shoulders to jog and make sure we deliver on the promise. And I think that that is something that is very achievable. Yes, engineers can make it happen. It's just that we need certainty and clarity in terms of decision making and the direction we are taking. Well, Jacob, thank you so much for joining us here at the East High Africa studio. Thank you very much, Nicolette. I really appreciate it too. Thank you for watching. I'm Nicolette Pomba Panzeo, broadcasting from the African Utility Big Studio.